With the latest from News for Jax, I'm Joy Purdy. We are keeping an eye on two traffic alerts involving semi trucks on I-95 just south of JTB. Fire Rescue says there's a fuel leak and hazmat is on scene. Just one lane is getting by. And on I-10 eastbound just west of Cecil Commerce Center, another semi truck was involved in a crash. A hazmat team also responding there for a fuel spill. That is causing big delays in the area. Jacksonville Beach Police say Christian Javier Vasquez Ortiz has been arrested after posing as an Amazon driver during a home invasion in late January. Police say Ortiz told the homeowner she needed to sign for a package, but when she went to grab a pen, he pulled out a gun and forced his way inside. Ortiz ordered the woman to get into a closet, but she fought back and escaped. There was an accomplice involved who has not yet been identified. And in the war in Ukraine, Vice President Kamala Harris is headed to Poland. She left Joint Base Andrews in Maryland this morning. Harris's trip comes one day after the U.S. rejected a surprise offer by Polish leaders to make fighter jets available to the U.S. so those could be given to Ukraine to help them fight Russia. U.S. officials have called the proposal too risky, saying sending fighter jets into Ukraine from a U.S. and NATO base could widen the conflict. You can always find the latest news on newsforjax.com. Have a great afternoon.